We knew from the beginning that we want to spend most of our time in Canada on the western side. Not only everything is getting much more interesting, but we are also meeting a couple of overlanding legends. We are Evelyn and Ferenc. Follow us on our adventures as we share our overland trips from all around the world. Finally, after driving several thousands of miles across the country, we arrived in Alberta, where we expected the landscape to change dramatically. Our first stop is Drumheller. Drumheller is a town on the Red Deer River in the badlands of east-central Alberta. It used to be a coal mining town, but now it's famous for something totally different. You know town. As the world's largest dinosaur indicates, Drumheller is the dinosaur capital of the world. It's home to the Royal Tyrell Museum of Paleontology. The museum's personal collection includes over 160,000 catalogued fossils, and it displays approximately 800 of them. It's named in honor of Joseph Tyrell, a geologist who accidentally discovered the first reported dinosaur fossil at the Red Deer River Valley while searching for coal seams in 1884. It's an incredible place and there is a lot to learn, so if you're in the area, make sure to visit it. This is Horseshoe Canyon and this is where they found a lot of the dinosaur fossils that we saw in the museum today and it's a beautiful place and it's nice to walk around and there's even a sign if if you find a fossil just take a photo and contact the relevant person and uh, it's just fascinating to to know that these rocks and these um, formations around us and not even it's not even rocks they actually contain dinosaur fossils Jesus really was a man, and I think he'd understand. Right now, it's either hell or jail. I'll be on the bad side, but the tracks come Saturday night. Right next to Drumheller, there's a town called Wayne, where you can go back a hundred years in time. One of the most interesting attractions to see in Wayne is the Last Chance Saloon. It has a really great vibe and is very popular among bikers and other type of travelers. We enjoy the live music and also the lunch that we for once don't have to cook ourselves.
Thanks to a little piece of history, a simple lunch can turn into a great memory that we will remember for years to come. When it's time to find a campsite, we can be much more adventurous than before when we were driving through the Great Plains of the country. During our drive since Halifax, we were always looking for the smallest roads, logging tracks and the occasional gravel roads, but we have yet to test the Iveco's four-wheel drive capabilities. We find the perfect spot for the night right above the town. The short but challenging hill that leads to the plateau guarantees that we have the view for ourselves. We can't stay long in this place though, because soon we have a couple of special people to meet not far from Calgary. We're near Banff National Park and we're going to meet Ashley and Richard from Death to Glory. And uh, we feel like, uh, at least I feel like we're meeting celebrities. So yeah, I feel the same too. <laughs> Are you we, kidding? <laughs> uh, we've been following them for quite a while and listening to their podcast with Overland Journal and read their blogs and YouTube videos, saw them sort of YouTube videos. And uh, yeah, it's going to be so cool to meet them in person. We will camp together tonight. Yeah, we are so excited about to meet you guys. If you listen to this, see you soon. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Ashley and Richard are really involved in overlanding. Before their followers got to know them as Death to Glory, they traveled the world as backpackers. But a few years back, they gave up their downtown Vancouver life, bought the Little Red, a 1992 Toyota pickup, and they drove all the way to Ushuaia in Argentina, which is also our destination now. They gained an incredible amount of travel and specifically overlanding experience, so now they are very involved in the overlanding scene. They contribute to magazines, YouTube overland shows, and get invited to overland expos. This is so cool. We are driving with Richard and Ashley and gonna camp together tonight. We're looking for a lunch spot right now and we are already on the dirt roads. It's gonna be awesome. It's just so good to meet in person now. I mean, we've been in touch on social media and WhatsApp and we spoke before uh, because of an Overland Journal article and uh, our expedition portal article and now we meet in person it's just really special really nice huh? different vibe no river uh, mountain still either one of them would work there's a lot of good firewood here that is true what would be good is like a mountain in the background, some bears in the foreground playing and catching fish in the river and we camp next to them. Okay, I'll try, I'll try to find that for you. This one has some mountains, small. It has a river and fire pit. So this could be a backup if we want to keep going. We are in an incredibly beautiful public land use area and decided to find the perfect campsite. The number of campsite options are overwhelming, but we want tonight's camp to tick every box. This looks pretty good. We can we can like try for another like 20 minutes and if we can't find any better than this then this will be awesome actually. I quite like this one. It's a nice one. I like the sun still up nice and high. Even though finding that perfect camp takes a while, every single minute of the search is a lot of fun. Got it. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> Thanks for coming to visit, guys. Yay! We appreciate uh -oh, it's upside it. Down. Oh no, upside down. It's <laughs> hideout. <laughs> Find a camp 
campsite for the camp for tonight uh, and we're driving around this mountain range in this public land uh, it's incredibly beautiful like we, it's breathtaking and uh, we are sort of we're spending a bit of time we try to find a good campsite but to be honest I don't really mind if you do this for a few hours more because it's so beautiful everywhere I mean even this small road here it's just too nice second uh, but yeah it looks fantastic turn back yeah it looks like the road ends okay we got some very side hilly and then nothing so let's say we have to turn around somewhere over here okay Oh, uh, Evelyn's there to help us turn Perfect. around. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Let's got it. Looks like there's a spot either back or there or in there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And back to the river. Back to the river. Okay. Eventually, we settle with a campsite that may not be perfect, but close enough. A nice flat area right next to a little creek with beautiful mountains surrounding us in the sunset. matters the most is company. We spend a memorable evening together sharing travel stories from all around the world. Ash and Richard not only can give us brilliant travel tips for Canada, but also for the rest of our itinerary on the Pan American Highway. Among all the travel stories, we even forget to sit down for our camp dinner. We're driving out from this uh, 
Bobby Clan area with Ashley and Richard and the best thing is that they actually going to come and camp with us tonight as well at the Ghost River it's, it's fantastic so we had a really great time last night uh, just had a fire we had we cooked a meal had a really great chat and uh, now we are going to another from what from what I can tell from the pictures another fantastic site The road leading to the Ghost River Valley is rocky and corrugated at the same time. Richard wanted to air down to smoothen the ride, which makes me overcome my laziness, and I also reduce the pressure in the Iveco's tires. But even with the reduced tire pressures, the road is long and very rough. The Iveco is up to the challenge though, and this time can easily keep up with the Little Red. Well, looks like the river is pretty dry, but uh, we'll give you the rest of our water before we leave. I think we got about five or, or maybe a couple of gallons, which will be better than nothing, I hope. No, that's fine. We you still have some left. It's not like we're desperate. Oh yeah, there is a little bit of a river running off to your left there. Yeah, I just noticed it. That's that's more than good enough. To be honest, we just keep on driving for hours and hours and days. And it would still be the, the public use land? It would. Um, do you want to camp near trees or near the river? Uh, the river probably, yeah. All right, we'll find a flat spot that's perfect and picturesque with some mountains in the background. And don't forget the bears. Hey, they'll be here. Honestly, this is, I think this is where we parked with uh, Julie and Marcus when we came out here with them. We've only out, ever been out here with Avecos. <laughs> That's awesome. The Ghost River Valley is a very popular off-roading and camping destination for people living in the Calgary area. Unsurprisingly, the scenery would easily qualify it to be a national park, but it is actually classified as a public use land. We find a great spot for the night, but unfortunately the Death to Glory guys have to be back in Calgary the same evening due to an early morning start the next day. absolutely thrilled to meet Richard and Ashley they are just really great people I'm not only saying this because I hope they will watch this but genuinely they were in person just as we imagined they would be fantastic people the next day we were really happy to hear that they want to 
actually come with us then like the, that evening as well to to spend a bit a bit more time together so we came here together where we are right now we had dinner we cooked dinner inside the veco we are really glad that now we can we have a vehicle and we can have guests in it which is fantastic you cannot really do that with a rooftop tent so we were guests in other people's vehicles before and now we can do it as well which is brilliant so yeah please follow them they share fantastic content and they are planning a massive trip coming up very soon you can already see that they've done a lot they both been on the expedition overland show before they really know what they're doing they really know what they're talking about and they've been to most corners of this planet already but they're planning a massive trip but i'm not telling you what you need to follow them to find out <laughs> 